exciting! We're launching Celiac UK's Gluten-Free Community Week with a wonderful bake along. I'm so glad you chose these cookies through an online poll. They're wonderfully easy um, and I'm really hoping you can get all the ingredients at the moment. And they'll be perfect for Friday's afternoon gluten-free tea with Celiac UK. So we're going to start off with a nice big mixing bowl. And I have to say, these are so easy. It's almost, I feel a bit bad coming and doing these, but I love them and the kids all love them. Um, so we've got 150 grams of caster sugar. I use golden caster sugar, but if you've got the white stuff, it really doesn't matter. Um, and we've got one large egg, just one large egg. I've beaten it up, but you really don't have to do that. And we're gonna whisk this till it's really light and fluffy. Now you can use um, a food processor, you can use a, your hand whisk, but you, you might find that it's a little difficult. So um, give me two minutes and I'll show you what we want. light and fluffy and like a cream colour and it's got all that lovely air in it and that might take you two or three minutes but keep going until you've got what we call a ribbon effect can you see it's the ribbon as you put it back once we've got that done it's so easy kids love this 150 grams of crunchy peanut butter um, and we're just going to put that in and quickly Whisk that through as well. That takes seconds to do. I love these easy recipes for kids. When you first get them baking, or if they want to do something on their own and you know you can just leave them to it. And then here I've got 50 grams of chocolate chips. You can um, dice up cooking chocolate if you've got some, but I like to use chocolate chips because they, they retain their, you know, a shape in something when you're cooking. So I've got dark chocolate chips, up to you. White chocolate or milk chocolate, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna put those in, give them a quick mix around. There we go. And then if you preheat your oven to 180, and we're going to just simply line an oven, a baking sheet with some grease poos spray. Excuse me. I always think I've got everything when I start baking. It's always something I've forgotten. Two dessert spoons, and this is the easiest bit. We're just going to take, it's quite runny, so be careful. Whoops, dropped a bit. <laughs> that always happens. Um, a big dessert spoon each of the mixture. Now don't worry too much, try and keep it in a little bit of a round if you can, but they do spread out nice and evenly. My baking powder baking sheet is moving, but that's fine. I'm going to make six equal nice big cookies. Heap dessert spoons. As I say, it's not, if they're a little bit misshapen, I don't think it matters. I hope you don't. And the great thing about this recipe um, is something I've cooked at home for ages and almost didn't publish because it's so easy. But of course, in these days when we're all struggling to get our gluten-free flour, I think it's perfect. I've just dropped a bit. Let me just scrape that back in. Gosh, the kids could do this tidier than me today, I think. <laughs> Let's just carry on. And to top up the ones that look a bit thing, so we've got them all about equal size. And I'm hoping you can see they're really not that tidy don't have to be. Make sure we get all that beautiful mixture in. I couldn't believe these worked when I first tried them. I was um, quite shocked because they seemed almost too good to be true. And in my family, I've had to, actually I'll show you. They love peanut butter so much that I had to put don't eat work on the top of my peanut butter to stop them eating it because I went to get some yesterday to do this recipe and it had all gone. Luckily we had a delivery coming so we had some to bake today. You can see they're not very tidy 
um, but they all look lovely. And we're gonna put them in the oven at 180 for about 18 to 20 minutes. And when they start going lovely golden brown, you can whisk them out. just a little bit and then you can eat and I'm really hoping you can see how wonderful these look. Look amazing, no flour, just peanut butter, eggs and sugar and if you break them open look how good is that and these are still warm so I think I have someone standing behind the phone at the moment filming me who is desperate to eat some. I hope you really enjoy them and thank you so very much. Have a great community week.